Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to record game physics in the game engine to iPhone. Pretty simple, and once you see how it works, you should have no problem. So before I get started, please comment, rate, and subscribe to my videos. You know, check out my channel for more cool tutorials and more videos. Okay, so let's get started. So if you want to record the physics then you're going to need objects to fall onto each other or to fall so I'm just going to use dominoes see people like that so we're going to model a domino real quick it's really easy just take your cube press S to scale X on the X axis and pull it toward the center and that's pretty good make it a little thinner S Y that's good now bring it up to the base just press G Z one. There you go. And let's give it a floor. A space. Add mesh plane. Scale it up a little bit. Let's turn it red so we can see it better. You just go to the materials tab, press add new and turn this red. Okay, let's do the same for the domino, except let's turn this one blue. Okay. It's over. Let's make the floor a little bigger. Press SX and move it. Okay. So let's make the properties for the domino to fall down. Go to the logic tab here. Press static and go to rigid body. And this makes it so that it reacts to the physics in the game engine. But now if we press P, it falls down. But as you can see, if you look and you see like this falls through the middle it stops in the middle there well that was a bad example let me make sure you can see it so and that's a problem you know you can't have your games reacting like that and the easy way to fix that is to give it bounds and if you want to see certain bounds all you have to do is press game up here go to show physics visualization press P and as you can see there's a little square box right there and that's where it reacts so to change that go to bounds and it's a box bound right now so if press P you can see it's right there and you can see how it reacts and there's a bunch of different types there's sphere you know there's cone convex hull triangle mesh but best for this right now is box so press alt G I'm just going to restart the settings and now that we have this we're going to duplicate it and put more dominoes there make sure go to front view okay and make sure before you duplicate you have all these settings on before or else you'll, you'll have to apply these settings to each and every one and that's annoying so press shift B and then press X up for along the X axis and move it to right about there and so that we can have the dominoes react move it over about there bring it up and we're going to use this red line as our floor base our you know basic reference so shift D X move it over shift D X move it over Shift D X move it over. Shift D X. Shift D X. Let's check if that's good. Uh, one more. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna fix the lighting. Press Alt Z, and to go into textured mode, and it can use one more lamp. So just press the lamp and press Shift D. Move it over a little, and that's pretty good. So now, if you press P, so the physics happens, and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty normal. I'm going to turn off the show physics visualization now, but if we press Alt A to play the animation, nothing happens. So if you want to record the physics, just go to Game, and go to Record Physics to Game to, sorry, the iPhone game physics to iPhone. So and it does exactly what it says. It records the game physics and it turns it into an iPhone. So you can 
play it back. So all I have to do to record it is press P to start the game engine. And whenever you want it to stop, just press escape. Okay, press escape. And if we press Alt A, then the animation plays. And that's pretty cool. And of course, you know, you can mess with the iPhone. Like if we press this one right here, split view by right clicking, press split area, and click right here. Go to iPhone Curve Editor. You can see it recorded all this iPhone. But you can see here that this one starts moving at about 125. That's when it hits. So let's say we go to 120. You can see it starts elevating there. So let's go press A to select all here. Press Tab to go into edit mode here. And we're going to box select right about there when it starts to move. So press B and drag along right about there. Press G, X, and move over. Box selected B. Sorry. And uh, if if you press Alt A, it has like a matrix bullet time effect. See, it stops, and then after it's at a certain point, it keeps going. Depends on how far you drag it. Here, it's up to frame 300. If you however long you want the animation to play, you just change the end longer. So I'm gonna turn it to 750. Press Alt A to play. And there you go. See, it's really easy, really fun thing to do when you're bored. If you want to make a cool physics animation. And it's cool for internal games too if you want to have rigid bodies like cubes falling down on each other or something. And uh, that's it, you know. Keep watching my tutorials, rate and subscribe. This one, subscribe to my page, you know, comment, and all that good stuff. And keep watching my tutorials. Thanks.